A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. For dominion is the Lord's, and he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, blessed, blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and am on my way to evaluate them. <clears throat> I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servants, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, go out to the highway, highways and the hedgerows and make people come in, that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Oh, 
Paul's letter to the Philippians in our first reading is, is really so, so beautiful, very theological. And I was really moved by just about the first sentence when he writes here in the second chapter, brothers and sisters, have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus. That could be taken a couple of different ways, but we'll look at one this morning. Have the same attitude as Jesus toward other people. The same attitude. What was his attitude? And it tells us. He did not regard equality with God to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of an enslaved person coming in human likeness. He humbled himself being obedient to death, even death on the cross. So when we take on Jesus' attitude, is an attitude of humility. Not pride, but humility. He is God the creator and humbled himself to become a creature that he would create out of love for us, out of love for us. So I just was thinking about that today, this morning, and I thought, well, maybe, you know, when we are with somebody we care about and love, or even other people, and there's a little conflict or a big conflict, what's our, what's our attitude? Is it like, you know, don't tell me? Or is it more, I will listen to you? You have a right to your opinion to humble ourselves, to humble ourselves. Where's our attitude and, uh, about that? So just, just one thought I had for today. And, um, and so we could look at ourselves today and ask, am I more on the humble side or more on the prideful side? We're to follow Jesus. We're to put on Christ. Maybe we need to ask him today to give us more deeply that gift of humility in our own lives that we may treat others the way he treats us so that we can really bring his love to others.